Hi, this is Peyton Hatch. Uh, today's video is going to go over to some basic basic capabilities on the GS18i, essentially how to create a point from the pictures. Uh, I'm going to show you the point cloud that can be created, but I'm not going to show all the settings and how to essentially process that. And uh, so let's, let's try to show you what I've got. Um, I have some MS60 data uh, that was scanned on the face of a building. So you can see this is this is what we have MS60 data on the face of a pancake house and you know some of its parking lot, and then we've got some line work around the curbing, and then what you also see are these walks, these images. So image right here, 13, 14. Now these are GS18i images, um, and I did them around the front of the building. So you can see I have a couple different walks, just doing some testing. So you can see all of them right here. And I, I have the image frustrums turned on. So if we rotate these around, you actually see what each one of the photos is. And you can see this one here was you know, aimed up higher. And this one down here was aimed lower at the building, just so I encompass the entire, the entire building in my walks. And um, what I wanted to show today is essentially how to create uh, points on the corners. And so right up here, let me turn off this right here. So you can see I have um, a reflectless shot up there on the top of that building. So let's click on it here, 5001. Let's turn everything back on here. It's not the one I wanted. So that 5002, 5001. Oh, well, turn everything back on. There we go. This is what I wanted. All right, so you can see I have a reflectless shot. Point number 2,000 shot from the total station over here on the side, 2,000. And you see here is the image that we took from it. There's the point we have. Now, if you needed to get the corner of that building and you did not have a robot, well, how would we do this? But we do it by um, using the GS18i, and we can essentially pick the point from, uh, from the pictures. So let me, let me turn off the point cloud here. I'm gonna turn off this, turn off this, and I'm gonna go ahead and just delete some of these points because I've clearly done this already. So I wanna do it again. Turn this back on and I need to delete point number 5002. Let's just delete that out. There we go. All right, now this data here is the 18i data. You know, essentially created as a point cloud. I even generated a surface out of it um, on one of the areas, but that's not uh, that's not the main reason we're here to view that point right now. So let's turn this off and let's get the corner of of that building. So here in Infinity, we go here to imaging, and I have some image groups already created, image groups. And so I have the building, all my different walks combined to the building. I also have the north and the south, so building. So I can go here to new point from the building. And what happens is it pulls up, these are all the different photos used as I walked, that it took as I walked along the building. Now the GS18 I takes photos every half a second. So let's, uh, let's get over here to that corner again, right here. There it is, there's the corner of that building. You kind of pick a photo where you've got a good shot at it. We can zoom in here. And I believe the point we were viewing was, uh, let's just make sure here. Let's turn my points back on. It was the bottom corner. I'm going to turn these image frustrums back off just so I can see this a little better. I don't care about the, the photos, so let's turn these back off. Image frustrums right here. Boom. There we go. All right, so make sure I'm picking the bottom. So from right here, we pick the bottom. Now I'm just gonna pick right there. There it is. And now you can see it's automatically grabbed some photos that it thought were good picks that it, it used. And so right here, here it is. It used five different photos. And it's gonna create TS, o, TS or three TS. Now I can go in here and I can pick additional points. So even though like these photos here were not used, I can go in and I could add additional picks and start tightening it up. Now some of these other photos, maybe because it did do its best pick, 
you may you can come in here and you can kind of help it out like hey you know I think that's the corner and so you can you can adjust these picks but say it does a pretty good job on its own on on picking the corner and you know and if the photo is really far away sometimes it's a little harder to, to pick the, the exact corner um, let's say it's, it's not meant for you know picking a property corner but if you just need the edge of the building it actually works really really well for that and so here's the point and if we scroll down there's the 3d CQ of this point that we've created here's the northern easting and the elevation so we'll go ahead and we'll just we'll create that point right there so I did that really quickly so let's go back here to my viewer and let's turn all of our data back on and there are the two points we've got point number 2000 and we also have ts it's let me turn off these point clouds here ba -ba -ba. turn those off and let's turn off the point clouds both points are sitting they're right on top of each other so boom, turn it back on so it was three ts and point number 2000 So we can go here, measure point to point. We can go point number 2,000. Hey, 2,000 to 3TS right there. And there's the distance between the two. So we got a slope distance of a, of a tenth. We say I was pretty quick at picking those. I probably could have done a little better job, but that's how easy it is to pick points off the uh, off the images that's really easy to do that and this right here is at the extent of it you know you're within a you know a 20 meter range or 30 meter range max to get that and so I would say this is about you know two stories up I had to be back here with this best this walk right here is the one that got the upper and so I'm absolutely at the max range of picking that corner uh, I've had really good success up to 60, 70 feet. Anything beyond that, we're kind of pushing the, the capabilities. You don't get near as good of uh, residuals. But um, yeah, that's it. So if you have any questions, you know, please, please let me know. Um, let me turn off these point clouds for just the uh, turn off this background image. This is one of the uh, the images created from the GS18i, the orthometric image. So those turn out really nice. Turn this off. Let's turn on just the point clouds. There we go. And let's go turn off the surfaces. Point clouds right here. Boom, boom. There we go. And that. This is the point cloud from the GS18. There's the current corner. This is all just post-processed in infinity. And let's turn on the point cloud from the MS-60. You see it overlays right on top. And so I am, I'm very happy with how good the data turns out. You now down here on the, uh, down here on the ground, It's right on. So I've been very happy. The GS18i is just, it's clean data if you can process it correctly. You got a decent laptop. So, guys, that's how, that's again, that's how easy it is to create points. Um, I'll do one more real quick from the building. Um, let me use the, uh, let's see here. I'm going to go to the very beginning. Let's grab one here from this corner. So let's try and grab, say, this corner right here. There it is. Let's help it out a little bit. Exactly right there. So point one two six, and then I'm going to add one more pick. Or actually, I'm going to go along here. I'm going to go add a photo from that's kind of a ways from it. I know I've got one that overlaps from another walk coming backwards. Ooh, maybe not a good one though. There we go. Right here. So you see there's my pick. And I can also add it in from right here. There it is. 0.018 or 3DCQ. 
TSO4. There's our 3D CQ of that point. You can see we're a lot closer. We're say we're pretty much on the same level. We create that point. It's now created. Go back to our viewer with our point cloud. You know, let's turn off the point cloud from the pancake house and just or from the imaging and view it off of just the MS60 data. So let's turn that back on. And let's go here to our point clouds and let's turn this off and this off and this off. And you can see there is that shot picked off the image and it's right there on the MS60. So yeah, excellent data. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.